you guys follow us along. This is a controlled airport. They don't open till seven, and it's earlier than seven, so it's a free for all. The winds favor two seven, so we're gonna go taxi to two seven. Get our flight plan loaded. Gonna stop up here, do the run up, and then when we get in the air, we'll talk about the handy dandy totems which most people that have gone into Oshkosh are thoroughly familiar with this, but the entry point for us is going to be 135 knots, 2300 feet at Ripon, and that's where we're heading first. Quick run up, we'll be back. I have so many questions. Yeah, we'll get it all. we got plenty of time in the air to work on it all, because we're 50 minutes. All right, I don't see anybody. We are on 20.6. Break my sunglasses out, I'd put them away. I don't see anybody. We could use some fuel pumps on low. Aurora traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie's taking runway 27 for departure to the north, Aurora. Are you ready to go? Yep. Gosh, gosh, gosh. Everything looks good. Full power. Take a full power. Air speed's alive. 80. 90, rotate, brakes, air coming up, that's cool with our shadow there, alright blue line, at a kamikaze bird, oh damn we're coming Messed with my yaw damper. I'll have to get that fixed. I noticed that in the video yesterday when I was flying around that the ball wasn't centered. Alright. I'll probably roll out on like a 350 heading, see what that gets us. Pumps are off. Back to climb top. The Fisk arrival. So let's just kind of review some of that. The Air Venture arrival eight is 25 nine. One forty five thousand. You're gonna have to tell me if he's talking to us because I can't. Can't hear him. Fifty one five thousand. Well. One forty. Now just turn it up. Take a 140 proceed direct to eBay. Thank you directly to eBay. What, what is this? Is that like a town? 3670 proceed yeah. direct to eBay. Direct eBay for care 3670. So we're going to see the town and then we're, we're going to follow the railroad, railroad tracks. Yeah, the town of Northeast. Ripon. And then follow the railroad tracks northeast. And then we have to be at. Um, oh, we follow the railroad tracks until we see Fisk and then we turn right. I, I got that far. Um, Oh, Ripon is another town? Is that a fix or something? No, yeah, Ripon's a town. Okay. Skyline at 1400, leveling at 5000. Fisk, you would not even be able to tell it's a town. It's the controller okay, sitting on a hill there. Parker, turn writing 070, climb maintain 6000. 070, 6000 at 1400. Yes, yeah. Just climbing in the gap. 
All right, so 2300 and 155 miles an hour is what we need to remember. Okay. And then Fisk approaches 20.7. with you out of 2.9 to 5,000. So we have the ADIS and the approach in. Number 5088, short departure at contact, climb maintain. One runway only landing. We don't know until they assign it, so that's what I was going to get at. So if we get put in the holding, we kind of need to review the holding procedures. Yeah, 1400 turn writing. Green Lake and Rush Lake for holding. But you don't contact them until fixed, so you got to go back. You don't ever contact them. They they pick us out of the sky and talk to Make us. Sure, 3670, kind of Charter Center, 120.35. 20 point 35, Free Carrot 3670. It's talking so much, it's hard for me to hear. Um, no, we we hit Rip and they talk to us at Fisk. So if you're out here, they'll say, everybody that hasn't made it to Ripon yet, don't continue, pick a spot and hold present position. So you just pick a field or a lake or something, you turn around it. Now, once you've made it up to Ripon, they'll tell you to turn back and go to Green Lake. If you're up here towards Fist, they'll tell you to hold at Rush Lake. That's where, um, you know that guy Brian with the Grumman and the Cirrus thing? He held over there for, he said three hours. <laughs> Oshkosh was jacked. We're not going to do that, so. But it doesn't look like you pick a spot and hold on. It looks like they want you to do that, like, go around the lake. That's if they assign you those lakes. Okay. Otherwise, you can let them know that we're uh, on our way up to 65. And approach one Bravo Charlie's on our way up to 6,500. Roger. Yeah, 2078, shot departure at a contact, turn writing 070, climb maintain 15000. They tell you an altitude to hold that? Like if there's a bunch of other airplanes? Hey, at 2300. Yeah, at 1400, proceed. And all hold at 2300. Second mobile at 1400. Everybody that can only do 90 knots or slower has to stay at 1800. And then everybody that can, they do 135 knots. 2035, thank you. And they stay at 2300. Right, zero seven zero fifty eight. So this is when they tell us what when they assign us a runway, I need you to flip real quick and pick out a runway. So it just kind of proves those things. Madison approach twin Cessna seven seven one Bravo Charlie's with you at six thousand five hundred. Bravo Charlie, Madison approach, Madison altimeter three zero zero four. Say again, type of aircraft and destination. 771 Bravo Charlie's a Cessna 310, we're going to Oshkosh. Madison approach, Cherokee, November 267. Pilot control flighting is not available. Aircraft operations will resume for departure aircraft only beginning at 6 a.m. local time tomorrow. It's yesterday's Aiden. The Whitman Regional Airport is closed. The airport is closed to all arriving aircraft from 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. local time. The airport is closed to all departing aircraft from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. local time. Pilot control lighting is not available. Aircraft operations will resume for departure aircraft only beginning at 6 a.m. local time tomorrow. The Whitman Regional Airport is closed. The airport is closed to all arriving aircraft from 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. local time. The airport is closed to all departing aircraft from 8 p.m. Alrighty. Well, they haven't pushed the button on the ATIS yet. Any aircraft on frequency? Fisk Approach is open. Good morning. Talk to me. Good morning, Fisk Approach. You got a twin Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie. We're still about 20 minutes out. Twin Cessna, awesome. Well, just glad the frequency's working. Continue inbound, and we'll pick you up when you get here. No arrivals till 7 yet, and we are landing runway 27 and runway 18 with a left downwind, which would be page 11 of the NOTAM and page... I'm sorry, that'd be page 10 of the NOTAM and page number 8, 8 and 10 of the NOTAM. We'll uh, have 8 and 10 ready, and... Uh We'll be talking to you here in a bit. Like I said, we're about uh, 18 minutes away, so it should put us pretty close to your opening time.
And fist approach, 41 Romeo Victor, three miles from fist, we'll be entering the hole at Rush Lake. I saw that guy on there, I knew Warrior he Warrior, three miles from Fisk, yep, that'll be fine. Come on up the track to Fisk, and then just make left turn and uh, the, the uh, right, hold at Rush Lake here. Okay, Did you choose which one of those two runways, or is he going to tell us? What? Do we have a choice between those two runways? No, they'll tell us. So what did he say, Pitch? You got him? Yeah, there, I got him. They're right here. What was it, just 1-8? Is that what he said? 1-8-2-7? Yeah. I want Bravo Charlie, Raider service terminate, Squawk VFR, frame change approved. One Bravo Charlie, Squawk and VFR, thanks. So if we didn't have ADSB, we'd have to turn our transponder on standby when we get in here, but everybody that has ADSB, so don't be... Don't be confused by the traffic not being on here, because all your Cubs and Satabrias and, you know, planes that just they aren't going to ADSB equipped or they haven't yet because they still have another, you know, year and a half. All we're going to see is ADSB aircraft. Oh. Because everybody else has to turn the transponders off. Well, how come they're on there? All those guys that you see have ADSB probably. Oh, okay, not that guy. But the guys with the call signs do. I, but the ones like, with... He's not going to Oshkosh. That guy's going south. I thought this thing showed everybody. Oh, my God. Oh it my does God. show everybody. Everybody that has their transponder on. But part of the note of is that they have to turn their transponder off if they're not ADSB. For 10 minutes. So Oshkosh is just halfway up that lake, kind of where it comes across. So that's that's where we are, babe. Five hundred feet per minute. Time to go down. Okay, we'll head on in. We're two minutes away from ripping, and uh, we're gonna start pushing the nose down to hit the altitude. Thank you. Roger that. Once again, we're not open for arrivals yet. We still got a few minutes left. Understand. We'll come up to the lake, and uh, I see somebody uh, on my uh, map here that's holding, and we'll be at the high altitude, twenty-three hundred hold better. That'll work. Once again, uh, do not go past the Fisk without uh, permission. we got to get uh, permission from the tower to start taking them, but I don't see any reason why uh, it's going to go past 7. So once again, just remain in the hold at Rush, and we'll let you know when we're ready to start. No problem. Uh, we understand that well. First time flying in, but I did work at, uh, in your shoes for three years. Thank you. A dog, what facility, man? Uh, I work at Chicago Tracon, but I was at O'Hare Tower when, uh, when I worked there. Do you know Dean Kirchhoff? I know Dean well. If he's there, tell him Kevin said hey. Oh, uh, yeah, he was one of my leads early early days. Kevin Thornton? You got it. Hey, guy, how you doing, man? Howdy. Hey, approach, uh, Skyline 237. Hi, right. right, babe. Uh, I'll be one Hey, hold on. we got to find the railroad tracks. At Final Hack or Oshkosh? Okay. At Oshkosh. I've never turned, uh, never I tried to find railroad no tracks. No idea on that one. Alright, thank you. <coughs> coming up on 2300, coming up on Ripon. And then as soon as we get down to 23, I've got the power pulled way out. We'll, uh... Alright, there's the grain thing. It's gonna go the that north, way. North yeah. east. Road. Is it the town of Ripon? Yes. I would hope if there was a train on the track. It's right here. It's right next to, it's to the left of the road. The thing that you see going oh, on right, right by the procedures over the track, and we are doing one mile in trail today. One mile. So the half mile we're not doing, so everybody needs to be one mile we are. in trail. We're I know that it, seems like a dream, but uh, it has worked out all the time. Traffic 12 o'clock, 600 feet below. Tower, especially with the volumes we've been handling and everything else. Oh, going on. So one mile Same in us. trail, you can expect. Same direction? Yeah. See, he's 500 feet below us. There we go. We'll stay at 2400 because he's a little high. I think that's like what one mile is. Uh, we're we're in our own world. We we can overfly him. We have to stay with the people at our altitude. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's right. He's supposed to be at 1800. 
Okay. We'll be dropping gear here in just a bit. We're almost at speed. We're on speed at altitude. Oh, I see him. It looks like he's like just hovering. <laughs> Okay, you got your eyeball game on today. Low, less than one mile. You hear the traffic? The lady just talked in her ear. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, we're on speed. Check your cheat tail. Just fast and fifth. Start the left turn. Hold over Rush Lake. Oh, I see him down there. Jackie, just pass and fist. Start the left turn. The airport is closed. Start the left turn. Hold over Rush Lake. It does. It's so Hold funny. Like. Turn there. We're going to be holding over Rush Lake. All right. Get, get the Rush Lake hold. We got the airspeed nailed, babe. Next time we're gonna staple it so I can flip through it like Just a picture of an arrow going around the lake, right? I feel like we just passed Rush Lake. We did just Rush Rush arriving runway 27 and runway 18 are right, pages 8 and 10 of the NOTAM. Reaching Ripon, pick out an aircraft of similar speed to follow northeast along the railroad tracks towards Fisk. Maintain one mile in trail spacing directly over the railroad tracks. Where's the holding pattern? If unable, I'm or if you have to ask turn, it's not going to work, break it off and find another aircraft to follow. If at all Air. possible, Jesus, maintain 1,800 feet at 909. Oh, if you're at 2,300 yeah. feet, maintain 135 knots, right. no faster. Turns and frequency changes will not be issued until you are in immediate vicinity of Fisk. One zero miles. Fresh Lake looks like East South America. It's right there. Unless you have been issued a turn, rock your wings to acknowledge control. Oh, there's an airplane right there. At our altitude? Uh, yeah. Ten o'clock. Oh yeah. There's another one at two o'clock, five hundred feet below. Oh, heading that way. Hold on, it's left turns around the lake. Yeah, left turns. I'd find an, out, find an aircraft at similar, similar speed and just follow them around. High wing over fist, continue northbound along the railroad tracks. So rock your wings. All right, good rock for the high wing. You're going to be landing runway 27 today, follow railroad tracks northeast. Into the right down went runway 27, maintain 1,800 feet. Monitor Oshkosh Tower 118.5. Is there a possibility of landing on 18? Uh, negative, runway 27 only. And everybody over the tracks needs you to maintain a mile in trail space. And the, the tower needs a mile today. So RV over a fist, rock your wings. All right, good rock. Uh, follow the railroad tracks uh, northeast. Enter the right down with so runway 27, maintain one thousand eight hundred feet. Back to the track. Give, continue to give me that mile okay. in trail space in between the guy in front of you. Monitor the tower one one eight point five. Welcome to Oshkosh. How do you know if you have a mile? It's a mile highway. Continue northeast bound along the railroad tracks. Enter the right down with runway two seven, and give me a uh, wing rock technology. 
All right, good rock for the highway and continue northeast on the railroad tracks. Right down 127, maintain 1,800 feet. Monitor Oshkosh Tower, 118.5. Welcome to the show. All right, no chance for 3-6 this morning. Runway 18 right is closed at this time. Continue for runway 27. 27. Oh, okay. We come off the whole drive around uh, Rush Lake. Aircraft holding over Rush Lake, you can proceed to Riffin and uh, you start angling it in. And the twin, uh, you can start angling towards the fifth and we'll pick you up. Twins coming out of Rush Lake, angling in. And my twin, uh, just rig it to Fisk and uh, we'll pick you out. Just join the tracks and uh, follow the tracks northeast. Twin, we'll go. Is that a helicopter? I don't know. Just keep an know. eye on that ham, babe, yeah. please. I just wish that he was at an appropriate altitude. There's no way that that guy... No, he's supposed to be at 1800. Traffic, 11 o'clock. We're going to go behind him. Less than one mile. Uh, it picked a goofy day to come out here and do that. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be right down 127. What's the tower free? Uh, 18.5. I got it in. All right. It doesn't say how long it is. No, nope, there it is. 5,600. All right, we gotta find those railroad tracks again. Okay. Oscar Scott's arriving on runway 27 only at this time, page eight of the NOTAM. Please become familiar with these pages. Reaching Ripon, pick out an aircraft That's of similar little, speed to follow northeast path. along the railroad tracks towards Fisk. Maintain one mile in trail spacing directly over the railroad tracks. If you are unable or if you have to ask turn, it's not going to work. Break it off and find another aircraft to follow. If at all possible, maintain 1,800 feet and 90 knots. If you are at 2,000... I think this is it right here. It's going to run right along, along the road. The fish, right all right. Yeah, it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. All right, good to rock. Uh, follow the railroad track northeast. Enter the right downwind for runway 27. Maintain 1,800 feet. And uh, you can monitor Oshkosh Tower 118.5. Welcome to the show. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the Oshkosh Tower. Yeah, that's Now they're crafting boy on over Fisk. I just use caution as you uh, proceed for the right downwind of runway 27. It will be departures off of runway 27 headed uh, south now. Alright, they're going to turn south. There's one guy ahead of us. Yeah. We're catching up to him quickly too, so... But he's, um, he's in the pattern him. below us. Yeah. 2300, 155. When do we need to start down? Not until we get past that guy. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Probably we ask her after Fisk, huh? I haven't picked him up yet. Okay. White Highway, half mile south of Fist, rock your wings. All right, good rock. Continue uh, northeast along the railroad tracks. Enter the right down with runway 27. Maintain 1,800 feet. Monitor Oshkosh Tower, 118.5. Use caution for departures off of runway 27. Welcome to the show. And my twin, uh, mile south, of, fresh and half mile south of Fisk. I need you to rock your wings, please. All right, good rock for the twin. And I drop the gear, slow down, please. I need you to bring it down to 1,800 feet and give me nine zero knots. Correction, just give me your uh, lowest approach speed. I need you to maintain a mile in trail space between the guy in front of you. Oh, man. All right, thank you for the twin. Just follow the railroad tracks northeast. Uh, Enter the right down way from way two seven. It's one o'clock. Uh, monitor the Oshkosh Tower, 118.5. Welcome to the show. Those are right there. That's Sam. There's no way that's going to happen. No, you're going to have to make some mass turns or something. 
I don't know, I think we'd be better off just passing them, but I don't know. It might be too late for that now, I don't know, babe. Alright. Well, we got them inside. Yeah, we got that going for us. We'll stagger off his left wing. 12 o'clock, same altitude. Thank you. One mile. Uh, she said 9 o'clock. Or, she might have said 1. I thought she said 1. Okay. I gotta turn the volume up on her. Okay. I mean, I'm having a problem getting any slower than this. Yeah, but Sorry, maybe, maybe you should tell him, ask him if we can flip this thing around. They're aware they're working on it, we'll let you know. Thank you, sir. We are also uh, on approach control, just wanted to coordinate with you, thanks. Okay, sounds good. Begin to your ascent for runway 27, begin to your descent on Dowin. I'll make it 360. Lost him. Tower Twin Cessna is uh, coming up the tracks, almost at the departure of the runway. We're at beam the traffic. They asked us to slow and follow. We just couldn't do it, so uh, we're going to pass them now on this left side. Twin Cessna, Roger. Just keep that downwind going, thanks. No problem. I'll enter the downwind uh, inside of the gravel pit, and I think he sees us now. Thank you. Roger. Stay on the downwind. We're going to have a couple of jet departures prior to you. 601, heavy frequency 126.6 will be the tower control. controller when you come in. 26, thanks. 4 Yankee, 2 mile final. 7 4 Yankee, roger. Megatron flight runway 27, line up away. Amphib, when you put it down, just put it down for me now, please, off the runway as soon as you can. Okay, we're playing on the right turn. Just, like, just keep extending that downwind. Everybody on downwind, keep extending. Twin Command, you slow it up as much as you can, please. Amphib, no delay off the runway. Delta Bravo, roger, playing on the right turn on the hard surface. Delta Bravo, roger. Cessna, you'll be looking for a twin command ship ahead of the right. I don't see. Cessna has them in sight. Cessna, you can start the right base now. You don't see what? What do you need? Camp Lab, no, no delay on that right hard service. Megatron flight, clear for takeoff. I see a Cessna on base right there. Yeah. Okay, we see everybody on the downwind. Oh, Everyone just stay on, on the downwind. Ford, Roger, stay out there for just a bit, maybe a left 270. 7-4 Yankee, clear, for, uh, clear to land. 4 Yankee. Thank you for that. Yeah, Seth, the turning yeah. final, great job. Keep the speed up. You can speed up, please. Clear to land, green dot. 7-4 Yankee, uh, green dot, clear to land, and off the runway as soon as you can. Dot, 7 Yankee. I see you, Twin, on the downwind. Just keep doing that. You're beating the numbers. I'm going to have you turn just a second. Twin, start the turn now. Clear to land. Short yeah, final, keep it airborne down to the green dot. Oh, keep it airborne over the runway. And Great job, Cessna on final. Thanks for that. Twin, keep it coming all the way around. And if you can land long, do that and into the grass if you can. Cessna beam, the numbers continue to send. You're following a twin base to final. Oh, man. Turn base, continue for runway 27. Yeah, being the number, Cessna, yeah, do that, and I need you to come down, okay? I might pull you toward the runway here in a second. Twin Cessna, clear to land. Take Ford, you can bring it in for runway 27 and right base. Calling clearance delivery, stand by one second. Okay, Cessna, rolling out on the runway, make a right turn in the grass, right turn in the grass, thank you. He said land long, so... Yeah, they're making him go on the grass. Here's down. All right, everybody's doing great. Thank you very much. Well, that's how you so want to final. Bring it into the numbers. Bring it into the numbers. Keep it going. Green dot. Great job, everybody. Twin off the runway. Right off, turn off the runway when you can. Thank you. Big Ford, runway 27, clear to land. Great. Huh? Good hey, grief. Four flight one, your squawk is 3163, 3163, continue holding at the uh, intersection, runway 23 and 27. Oh, Four flight one, I don't 3163, uh, holding short. Vintage park? Yeah.
One Bravo, Charlie, three six left, clear for takeoff. Sorry, we couldn't help you out. No worries, we'll try to get back, thanks. He did say clear for takeoff. Yeah, he did. Alright, everything's full forward. Here we go. Full power, making full power, airspeed's alive. Eighty. Ninety. Hundred. Rotate. You're coming up. Heading one five zero. Outer blow thirteen hundred. We're there. Wow, that was crazy. Be a parts everywhere. I know. I don't even know like where to look right now. Just everywhere. Just anything. Just kind of above us, below us a bit. Anything like that. Eighteen hundred feet's pattern altitude. We're gonna get up to that in just a second. Four hundred eleven o'clock. I see that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Final light tower, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie, seven miles north along the lake shore with Alpha about landing. 771, Bravo Charlie, report midfield right down with runway 36. Midfield right down one for runway 36, one Bravo Charlie, and uh, as far as you know, you got a spot to park a twin. Two Tango X runway 36, clear for takeoff. Two Tango X3. Half parking. Final light tower, Comanche 8520, Papa, 10 to the south, Alpha. 85020 Papa, report 3 miles straight into final right 36. 8520 Papa. They wanted us on the right position. I think he said right now. 7 miles south. There, so you see the runway. Tower 50 Juliet, right down with midfield 36. 7 Papa Zulu, your number 2, traffic you're following is on the base. Good land, runway 36. Alright, traffic is like clear to land, number 2. 7 Papa Zulu. Thank you. Twin Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie is right down 136. In front of you, about uh, two miles in front of you. Twin Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie is right down 136. 1 Bravo Charlie, Roger, continue on the downwind uh, for 36. 1 Bravo Charlie, we'll go. 